afternoon. It's 5 o'clock. I'm Emma Roskowski. An 18-year-old man faces numerous charges today in connection with a sex and abduction spree. The assaults took place last night and over the past few weeks. Police say about 12 nurses at Toronto Western Hospital have passed polygraph tests. They were asked to take them after a male patient was given near-lethal doses of insulin and the heart drug digoxin. Mary Garofalo has an update on that story on City Pulse at 6 o'clock. Police are canvassing Nicole Moran's apartment building in Etobicoke today. The 8-year-old girl disappeared on her way to go swimming with a friend in July of last year. The latest on the investigation tonight at 6 o'clock. Jeff Ansel tells us AIDS was the number one killer among men aged 35 to 44 in Toronto last year. More on that tonight at 6 o'clock. And memorial services in Metro and Istanbul today for victims of the synagogue massacre last weekend. 21 people were killed when gunmen opened fire during prayers in the synagogue last Saturday. Lauren Honickman was at the Metro service today. The weather in Toronto, a wet one today. We're expecting a low tonight of 13. More showers tomorrow with a high of 20. David only has complete details tonight at 6.